What's up, guys? Uh, sorry for not doing a check-in last week, but even if I did have time to record it, I didn't really get anything done because I had a lot of stuff going on, so uh, not much real progress was made on the application. Um, <clears throat> uh, but however, over the last week, I have made some application um, progress. Most, no most notably, I've gotten the mappings to start working, as well as the mapping interface. I got a lot of work done on that. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of that off here. Um, so, what I am going to do is I'm going to plug in my Move Navigation Controller, um, but I can't leave it plugged in because there is still a bug uh, with the deferred procedure calls. Um, so, I have this open here on another monitor, and I'm going to have to monitor... I should probably start it here. Hopefully it doesn't screw up my recording starting this. <clears throat> okay, that looks fine. Alright. So, I am recording, so it is going to be a little higher than normal. It's going to jump up here, and that's fine. But once it starts getting up, you know, to this area here, uh, I run the risk of my computer crashing. So, uh, he's still looking at it, trying to figure out where the bug is in the drivers, so... Uh, plug this guy in and hopefully go through this pretty quick. Um, you see it does pop up in here, my navigation controller. Uh, go into here, profile, I'm going to create a new, I got a lot of tests in there. Um, I'm going to call this one demo just so I know what it is. Ignore that, that's just a little test control just for me. Um, but here we go, it's the start of our mapping interface. Uh, you see that these are mapped to controls currently, but they don't have any icons, and the naming convention's a little weird, and that's because we haven't selected an output driver yet, because our output controls are named depending on what our output driver is. So I go over here, and we're gonna select Scarlet Crush Virtual Bus. Go back over here, and there you go. You see that the naming and the icons all look specific to what the uh, 360 controller looks like. And then in here, I can also change, you know, the source. Um, I actually, this is pretty ugly. I just threw them out, and I even threw some of them in the wrong place. I got the stick where the D-pad should be and the D-pad where the stick should be. So that's not very pretty. Oh, DPC's getting high. Let me unplug this for a moment. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, I'll plug it back in once I'm ready to actually demo this controller. Uh, but yeah, I screwed up on the uh, placement of these little things a little bit. They're in the wrong spots. I'll fix that. It's just UI stuff. Um, I was more concerned with getting the actual functionality working. Um, the DualShock 4 mapping actually looks correct. Um, so I'll use that for demonstration purposes. Even though this screen switching between these, it doesn't affect what the actual input controller is. It's just for reference to kind of help you um, visualize, you know, where these controls are going. Um, when you're talking about, you know, the 360 controller and the DualShock 4, there's not, you know, you don't need to worry about it too much because they're laid out pretty similar. But on a controller like the Nav controller, where it's pretty much just half of the DualShock 4, you might need the uh, you might need to use this screen just to kind of visualize it a little better. But um, whatever changes you make in any of them, you know they're all tied together, so it doesn't doesn't really matter other than a standpoint of just you know what's what's more readable to you. Um, so for example, in here, um, you know I might as well plug a DualShock 4 in. Uh, that's, well, knock on wood, that's not buggy. Um, so I can do a little prolonged demonstration with this, and we shouldn't have any issues. I don't actually know if I've ever tried this via USB. Hopefully it works. Okay, that's a good sign. All right. Dual Fock, dual, dual Fock, Fock. Dual Shock 4 shows up here via USB. Um... So, what are we doing? I got my demo. Uh, so, I'm going to assign my demo profile to that controller. 
I know I got the X input running here somewhere. Here we go. Drag this guy over. And, uh, you know, our basics. The default controls work. Yada, yada. I'm sure you'd expect that to be. Uh, but, you know, let's uh, just change around some of the mappings here. Uh, let's change D-pad up to be a couple icons missing. I got to fix that. So let's swap, swap our left stick and our left D-pad around. So I select the D-pad up. Let's say that's going to be our left stick up. D-pad left is going to be left stick left. D-pad down, left stick down. Left stick right. And likewise, we're going to switch our left stick to be our D-pad. So left is going to be D-pad left. Up is going to be... Uh, D-pad up. I'm having a hard time concentrating here. I must need more coffee. Down is going to be our D-pad down. Now, there's no save button. Um, and that's because we directly modified that object, that uh, profile object. So we don't need to hit save or anything. Um, I can start going here immediately. And let me make sure the camera can pick this up. And I'm moving my left stick around and you're seeing my D-pad show up there. Uh, let me do the same thing. I'm going to move my D-pad around and you see my left stick is getting input there. Uh, oh, here we go. I screwed up one of the mappings. This should be left stick down. No, that must be a bug in the code. I must have that menu item redirecting to the wrong thing. All right, small bug for me to fix, but uh, nothing major. But you know, there you go. There you go. There's our DualShock 4 working as expected. Now, let's take our what I do with the damn controller. There we go. Let's take our PlayStation Nav controller, and again, don't have. It's kind of a ticking time bomb whenever I plug this thing in before my computer blue screens. So let's try to get through this with some sort of hurry. Um, something I got to fix is the virtual controllers are looping back an in input mapper here. That's why this 360 controller is showing up. I got to I want to get rid of that because uh, I don't want it to accidentally, you know, create a endless cycle where it's creating virtual controllers for physical controllers. And then, you know, maybe you accidentally map this to another controller and it's just creating a loop in your system and eating up all kinds of resources. That's no good. We don't want that. So uh, I'm going to figure out a way to filter out these virtual 360 controllers. But anyways, here we go. Our navigation controller. Now, even though we made this profile for our DualShock 4, we can assign the same thing to this PlayStation Nav controller. And that should pop out to number two there. And there we go. And remember, I switched the D-pad and the stick. Uh, we'll switch over. Well, these are in the wrong spot, so that doesn't help out too much. But uh, we switched the D-pad for the stick. So you see when I'm moving the stick around here, we're getting D-pad output. Uh, I'm going to click the D-pad around here, and we're getting stick output. Uh, of course, our circle and cross work as you expect for A and B there. Uh, we got a trigger, we got a bumper. So, there we go. Um, I believe this has a driver, gyro in it as well. Uh, so we should get that functionality as soon as uh, Benjamin uh, is able to figure out how to get that to work in his driver. Um, so we should be able to get, you know, gyro uh, controls, well, which would be kind of cool to control the mouse with this thing. It seems, it's, it seems like it's a little more suited for, you know, this kind of pointing at the screen and moving a mouse around control than the, uh, the DualShock 4 is. Um, though the gyro and accelerometer in this thing are less precise, I don't know how well it's actually going to perform. Um, oh, let's hurry up and unplug this before we crash. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to show right now. Uh, like I said, I, one week was a wash for me because of everything I had going on. Uh, so all I was really able to do was get the last, uh, get, you know, the last few days of work in, but um, some important progress made. Uh, mapping is obviously 
huge part of the program. Uh, that's why most people use it. So to get that working, um, and for the most part, you know, uh, working well without bugs or very few bugs uh, is a pretty big step for me. So um, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to do a reset here, and uh, I am going to stream out some Mass Effect 1 this morning. Um, people seem to get a kick out of that, even though it's an old-ass game. Um, they seem to enjoy me frustratingly trying to figure that damn thing out, so... Uh, I'm going to reset and I'm going to stream some of that out. And uh, that's going to be heading out to, um, well, I'm saying I stream now to Twitch, Ustream, uh, yeah, what else? YouTube, obviously, and a bunch of other things. Um, what is it? The, the, the Microsoft one, the Beam.pro or whatever, I stream there too. So check out any of those and uh, give me a holler once I get this uh, video up. And if you have time, check out a stream. All right, guys, have a good one.